We're now with the MG Car Club uh, Cape Town Centre and we're chatting to first up Mike. Good morning, Mike. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for taking the time to chat to us. What a lovely array of uh, MG cars. I'm a massive MG fan as well. Take us through the history of uh, your MG Club. Of our club, we it was first formed in 1948 and then in the late 60s, um, there was an offshoot called the MG Sports Car Register. Okay. Um, and in 1970, more or less 1970, amalgamated with the original MG Car Club mm -hmm. to become what we now call the MG Car Club Cape Town Centre. Um, and we have been going, what's it now, 75 years. Yeah. I would imagine over the years you've uh, partaken in uh, some other events as well. What are some of the events that stick out for you over the years? Well, the main one is the MG movement in South Africa. Every two years, we have an Indaba, and each centre gets a turn to host the Indaba. Um, unfortunately, COVID stepped in the way for two years, and at the end of this year, we will have our Cape Town hosted Indaba. Um, bring, Where is that going to happen, Mike? In, in Hoek. We... Uh, have a seer will know um, weekly and monthly uh, not monthly runs mm -hmm. which we call a veterans run where all the old crocs get together Brilliant. and have a, a drive um and uh, yeah that's Standard. Standard. the array of uh, vehicles that uh, you've gathered here today are most in the cape town area or all from cape town these are all from cape town belonging to club members. We, the oldest one, I think, is 1935 at the moment, and I'm not sure of the latest model. Um, yeah, these cars have all, mostly, have all been restored by club members and brought back to life and are used pretty regularly. Beautiful, uh, Ray. I hope all the day, the day goes well and that uh, you get the result you're looking for. So it's such a beautiful day out and people can enjoy what you have to offer as well. So thank you so much for affording us your time. It's been a pleasure. Enjoy the MGs. Thank you very much. Okay, we're now chatting to Theo, who's also part of the MG Club as well. Theo, thanks for taking the time to chat to us. Hi, good morning to you all and uh, thank you for taking the time to talk to us as well. My pleasure. So we've got uh, a lovely array of MGs gathered here today as well. Would you want to take us through some of the models and uh, some of the uh, the club members that have brought their ca cars through? Um, all right. What we have here today is what we call the P-types, that, that early 1935 one. Um, I'm sure you're going to take forms of it later. And those are, a couple of those are pre-war. And then after the pre-war, we had the T-series, and those are the ones, as you see there, with the big rolling fenders. And after that came the MGAs, and that's those are on the back row there, and then the MGBs behind me. Uh, we don't have any of the more modern MGTFs, which were around about the late 90s. Um, you still can buy a new MG today, um, but they're now manufactured, I think, in China. So possibly us old guys don't regard them as a true MG. Our club has about 220 MGs with spread over us about 180 members. And um, Mike didn't mention, he talked about the, the centers all around the country. We have five MG centers countrywide, and we're all affiliated with the MG center in the UK, which is like the head office of MG clubs worldwide. Brilliant. And it, it's the biggest uh, class of uh, classic cars in the world. Fantastic. Um, what is the day uh, going to look like today? Do you have any special uh, events planned, or will members just come through and spend the day together? Well, we hope many of our members will join us and come and see the show. Uh, we see it's open to the public. It's a bit quiet still at the moment. It will get fuller. Um, and we were limited to ha showing only 20 cars. They gave us space for 20. We could have brought many more, but we were limited by the organizers to have only 20 cars. What are some of the other events planned through the year? Today's a, a wonderful one. We're uh, anticipating big crowds. Do you have other events planned through the year? Well, Mike mentioned earlier, we have this the biannual 
event which is for clubs uh, mg clubs all around the world around the country um, which is being held in hope in september but we have a monthly run on the last uh, thursday of the month and we have a social meeting on the second saturday of every month where the members get together and talk about their cars help each other to suggest ways to improve the cars and just enjoy each other's company and then our monthly runs are normally to a place of interest. We'll go and have a look at a factory or a something, a wine farm, and then have a lunch somewhere. And normally those runs are about 100 to 200 kilometers, and it gives the chance for the cars to have a good run. And not everywhere you have 30 to 40 cars at the runs once a month. Uh, thanks so much, Theo. Um, any other message you would like to give to our viewers about the MG Club and about some of your amazing work that you do? Well, the MG is the um, biggest class of classic cars in the world. And if anybody's interested in starting to restore a car, an MG is the answer because parts are available. Um, because there's so many worldwide, parts are being manufactured today to fit old cars, whereas some of the other older type cars, cars are imp parts are impossible to find. So parts are available, albeit expensive, because they have to be imported from the UK or from America. But... Um, it's one of the easiest cars to work on, and there's always parts to get them back to the beautiful way they were when they left the factory. Yeah, thanks so much, Mike, as well. Thank you so much. Have a great afternoon. We look forward to meeting you guys at another event uh, in the future. Thank you. Thank you.